I sometimes get questions about these guys here. What are they and what do I use them for? It's the Aventone Mix Cubes and they're often called grot boxes or shit boxes. Basically, it's small speakers that isolate the mid-range of your songs. With big studio monitors like those Yamaha ones, you have the full spectrum of frequencies. You have a lot of bass, of high-end, and you have the mid-range. And most of the times when you mix, the hardest frequencies to tweak are the mids, low mids, high mids, but the mid-range is very complicated. So these guys help a lot to isolate the mid-range so you can hear better how and what you have to tweak in your song. It's also very good to check if your mixes are still going to sound good on cheap sound systems. When you're listening on your phone, you barely have any bass and you don't have all the high end on it. So when you mix with the mix cubes, it's a lot better to understand how this will sound on cheaper sound systems. It's also good to avoid ear fatigue because when you're mixing on the same set of speakers for a long time, you get used to the sound of your speakers. So when you switch back and forth, between the mix cubes and your monitors, you have some fresh ears and a fresh perspective on your mix. How I do it is with my uh, controller here, I can switch between A or B, and A is plugged to my studio monitors and B is plugged into my Aventone mix cubes. I also have a mono stereo switch. I know some people like to use only one mix cube to have the worst situation possible. A mid-rangey speaker and only in mono. But I don't think that there are many cases of mono recordings and mono sound systems nowadays uh, unless it's on your phone people use earbuds and even televisions are in stereo now so i don't think that mixing in mono is that useful nowadays but if i want to have the option i can switch it on my controller the mix cubes are a little bit high uh, compared to my studio monitors. So when I want to mix with them, I'm just going to adjust the height of my chair to get there. So I'm going to put my microphone at my uh, listening position so you can hear the difference between full range speakers and the mix cubes. My personal use of the mix cubes is only for serious work when I'm working on my albums or serious projects, but for a quick YouTube video, I don't really use them. It's really if you want to tweak and really get into the mid range, which I don't usually need that much when I'm making ambient sketches or videos like that. So the real question is, do you really need those mix cubes and the answer is no. It's really if you want to upgrade your studio and have a better understanding of the mid-range, but it's totally not mandatory if you have a home recording, it's just if you want to upgrade. Of course, it's my opinion. Thanks for watching my video. If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel by clicking here. I have a lot of great stuff on my channel for guitar players, for a home studio and all of that stuff. If you're already subscribed, click on the little notification bell to be notified. And until next time, au revoir.